Hello and welcome. This is a quick and simple fix to a problem that affects many computers. It is the actual setup utility. It is simply this blue interface that denies you access to the normal functionality of your computer. But before we begin, I'll take you through a short PowerPoint that will show you the causes of the AppShow setup utility. The root cause is that your computer is failing to find the operating system installed on your computer. And it could be because of the following reasons. Of course, the first reason is always the settings. You might have unknowingly altered the settings, causing your computer to not launch from the operating system that is installed on your hard disk. So anytime you turn on your computer, it follows the instructions on the settings which instruct it to launch from the AppShow setup utility. The other two reasons are the hard disk and the RAM. These two problems are in red because we could try fixing it from the hard disk or from the RAM only to find that the problem was at the settings level. So you see we have gone a really long stretch and risked the safety of our computer for something that could be fixed from the settings. So solutions that involve the hard disk or the RAM should be done as a last resort for when the solutions offered by the settings fail. With me here is a perfectly working Asus computer. As you can see it launches from its operating system which is uh, the old version of Windows, Windows 7. The point is, it is working perfectly. This is just an external storage device that you will require in the event the settings solution fails. And this sounds like a good time to ask you to subscribe to the channel just in case this solution doesn't work for you. I'll be dropping some really cool hard disk and RAM tutorials for you who's computer could not be fixed by the settings and that is not the main reason I want you to subscribe the main reasons are at the end of this video so kindly make an effort of seeing how this tutorial ends so back to our perfectly working Asus computer I am going to switch it off then when switching it on I am going to repeatedly press F2 to force it to launch into the AppShow setup utility interface so it is off. Apologies for the flashlight. I'm going to turn it on and press F2 so many times. And as you can see, it has been forced into the AppShow setup utility. Let me try and hide the flashlight on the black borderline so it is not it doesn't disturb us. And man, I just remembered something that I should have mentioned earlier. The AppShow setup utility are of many versions. There's a wide variety of AppShow setup utility and they are normally divided by their years. For example, this one is the one for 2012. I have a photo from one of the subscribers here who had uh, the AppShow setup utility for 2020. But I assure you this is a non-issue since they are basically similar. The boot option is available for all types of AppShow setup utility and it is the culprit, the most likely cause for our AppShow setup utility woes. Anyway, back to our 2012 version, uh, I would like you to scroll to the boot panel using the arrow keys on your keyboard and you'll find a bunch of things that you can enable and disable, the launch CSM and the fast boot. Uh, those ones don't matter. The one that matters is the boot option hash one. And I am going to disable it. So what we have done is change the configuration of the computer. After that, I'm going to save the changes and exit and watch what happens. The computer relaunches on its own into the AppShow setup utility. Remember, this computer was working perfectly. Even if we force it to shut down and then restart it again using the power button, the computer is incapable of launching from Windows 7. Let's go back to the one for 2020. The AppShow setup utility for 2020 has so many boot options. There's number one, two, three, up to eight. So you want your boot option one to always be at hard disk 
because the Windows is installed on the hard disk. In mathematics, there is something called prove by contradiction. That is, we destroy something in one way so that we can prove that it is fixable in the opposite way. So here we destroyed the computer by disabling the boot option hash one. It was disabled. To fix the computer according to this mathematical proof, we will just enable it by returning the Windows option. And if you do that and save the configurations, your computer will be okay. As you can see, it launched from Windows. This is exactly what we need. So that was the Upshow Setup Utility Fix at the settings level. If this didn't work for you, I'll be dropping a video on uh, the RAM and the hard disk uh, versions of the solutions. So be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss it. And as promised earlier, I had a channel announcement to make and I will introduce it by a picture of my screensaver. As you can see, it is titled Imaginations and it is a bunch of differently colored doors and a key over here. So as you can see, the first shape on the key is the love shape and then the electric sign opens the next door. And then after the electric sign is the star sign that opens the other door and then the diamond opens the next one and then the triangle opens the next one. The square and the circle shapes are hidden from the image but the door opens in that order. It is the square and then the circle. And you may be wondering why I'm showing you this image. You may have noted that these doors open backwards instead of the usual expectation. One would expect them to open in the forward direction. The point of this image is that the human mind is capable of so many levels of imagination and you have to open them in the correct order for you to access most of them. Your level of imagination right now as we speak is a stepping stone to the next one and once you unlock the next level of imagination you realize that you are capable of so much more than you could ever imagine and guess what that next level is also a stepping stone to the next one so the channel announcement is that i will be sort of pivoting the content of this channel to help you access deeper levels of imagination and it will not be an easy journey for me and for you, but it will be worthwhile because by the end of it all, I am planning to have left enough knowledge to make you a self-sufficient software engineer. What I mean by this is that I will give you the basics of how successful social media companies like Instagram works and we will also make our own rendition or version of it. I know such videos are already on the internet. Just search how to clone Instagram on YouTube and all sorts of source codes will pop up. But that is not my style. I will teach you how to write code in the most interesting way. How will I do that? I will unlock the levels of imagination by sneaking into your mind via the back door and unlocking those wires that are conducive for good programming. And if you ask me exactly how I will achieve that, the answer is pretty simple. We only have to give your mind a bit of foreplay, imagination foreplay. Stoicism and philosophy is the best kind of imaginative foreplay you can give to your mind. But that is too deep to begin with. Also, it is something that you introduce to somebody subtly without their knowledge. So before philosophy and programming, I'd like us to begin in the softest way possible. That is gaming. It is the simplest way to test the waters. So we will begin and complete a full game before we can begin any form of programming. Trust me, I have done it before and this is the best way to understand programming. Just start by being an expert gamer. I selected Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 because of its ease of access, it's accessible to many and it is simple to install. So this is the end of my narration, 
if it is some if this is something that you will be you are or you will be interested in you want to see how it plays out please click the subscribe button i will leave you with the trailer for call of duty modern warfare 4 so that you see if it is something that you will be interested in 50,000 people used to live here now it's a ghost town so-called leaders prostituted us to the west destroyed our culture our economies our honor u.s marines stationed on high alert were given the order to invade the small Just as they lay waste to our country, we shall lay waste to theirs. You think this will stop the bloodshed? We все все равно скоро сдохнете. So there it is, I will start uploading these videos of the game from February next year, that is 2022, February 2022. So subscribe, I'll start a new game right now as we speak, but I will not play it, I just want you to see the internal environment of the game. Good news first, the world's in great shape. We've got a civil war in Russia, government loyalists against ultranationalist rebels, and 15,000 nukes at stake. Just another day at the office. Khaled Olasad, currently the second most powerful man in the Middle East. Now word on the street is he's got the minerals to be top dog down there. Intel's keeping an eye on him. And the bad news? We've got a new guy joining us today. Fresh out of selection. His name's Soap. Good to see you, mate. Take one of the rifles from the table. You know the drill. Go to station one and aim your rifle down range. Now aim your rifle down range. Shoot each target while aiming down the sights. Lovely. Now, shoot at the targets while firing from the hip. Now I'm going to block the targets with a sheet of plywood. I want you to shoot the targets through the wood. Bullets will penetrate thin materials like wood, plaster, and sheet metal. Good. Now I'm going to make the targets pop up one at a time. Hit all of them as fast as you can. Too slow, mate. Try again. Oh, come on, this should be a walk in the park for you. Drop a good job, mate. Now go get a sidearm from the armory.
Understood. Now switch to your rifle. Now pull out your sidearm. Remember, switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading. All right, so come this way. Using your knife is even faster than switching to your pistol. Knife the watermelon. Nice. Your fruit killing skills are remarkable. Captain Price wants to see you. It's the FNG, sir. Go easy on him, sir. It's his first day in the regiment. Right. What the hell kind of name is Soap, eh? How a Muppet like you pass selection. Soap, it's your turn for the CQB test. Everyone else head to observation. For this test, you'll have to run the cargo ship solo in less than 60 seconds. Gaz holds the current squadron record at 19 seconds. Good luck. Climb the ladder over there. <laughs> 